multicultural at its best. The Louisa Marshall Show. Coming up. Brock Tolley is an internationally known speaker. Way back in 1970 and I was very suicidal and really had a touch in my heart. And what I did was I jumped on my bicycle before people were cross-country biking. Kindness has always been Brock Tolley's passion as it touches people. He is the founder and creative director of the World Kindness Council, co-founder of Kindness Rocks and Schools. To me what can be done is by having things like this Kindness Rock show to, to really focus not on the bullying but on the solution. Today, All New Simply the Best continues to take you to Kindness Rocks with its awesome performances, inspiring stories and songs to uplift, making an awareness that kindness is indeed the best thing to fight the most horrific bullying in schools, workplaces, and on social media that has caused so much pain and many lives all over the world. We'll take you back to Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School with our coverage of Kindness Rock. Jonas and Jeanette, a husband and wife team of Mooncoin Productions that created and managed successful shows like R&B Icons, Retro Divas, Piano Man, Atari Radio Stars, Sway and their fabulous ABBA tribute, Abracadabra. It is not surprising that they are also co-founders of the dynamic anti-bullying show, Kindness Rocks. It's a great pleasure to finally have this moment with my peers, Jonas and Jeanette. Take a look. Well, I was called names. Um, I, would, I was beaten up after school quite often. But I have to tell you that the most painful part of it was just feeling the isolation and the loneliness and not have anyone to connect to. Like, at recess, at lunch, after school, it was a pretty scary, lonely situation for me.
Rocks. How are you? Great. How Thank you, you Louisa. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Kindness Rocks is such an amazing show. So what inspires you? First and foremost, we're parents. So we have three daughters that we, you know, we observe firsthand the things that they were going through in school and, you know, broke my heart. I was a victim of bullying myself, but to be honest, I was actually a bully as well. And so I experienced both paradigms and um, I just felt that this was an important you know, message and way to inspire our youth. They're our future. They're going to be, you know, our future leaders, our future teachers, our future parents. So if we can inspire them to make good choices, it benefits all of us. Now, kindness is such a simple word, such a gentle word, yet it yields so much power in our lives. And the absence of it can be, uh, can be a pretty sad situation. Um, we wanted to come here and talk to you guys because to us, you are the most important people in the world. I think that it's so important if we want to make a difference in the world, if we can get to our youth, um, it's such an important time for them. They, they're like sponges, you know. If you can wow them with a great rock concert with positive messages and then really kind of share personal stories and they think they, they feel that you can relate to them, they can relate to you and there's, there's a connection, there's a sharing and you feel inspired, you feel connected, you feel like you're part of the community and that you're not different. You're, we all, we're all human, we go through ups and downs and we all have tough times and I've been bullied, I've bullied, I think everybody goes through it in different ways and so this is just our little our little gift and that we can use to, to inspire people that's basically what we want to do is inspire kids to make them think to be aware of their actions and their words uh, they're very powerful um, people don't realize how much their words and their actions can either be really positive or really negative towards other people so hopefully this makes a difference you know we're just doing what we do because we want to try and help you know great, it feels yeah. so great I mean we do a lot of shows but this one always feels the best. I mean, we go home just simply the best. <laughs> <laughs>
feels really good. It feels good here. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, that's that's why we do it. It's because yeah. it's a great feeling. And that's the same with everyone on our team. Everyone at the end of a day, it's a long day. We're yeah, doing three, three 75 minute shows in a day and there's a lot of setup and preparation. But everyone is just feeling so energized. We don't feel tired at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were able to touch more than 3,000 children, yeah. uh, school yes. children here. Yes. yes. So um, what do you think? You said that you were a bully yourself. Yes. Huh? And I think that's probably one of the most important stories to share because when we're talking to the kids, we don't want them to feel like we're all perfect yes. and we're, we're preaching at them. So as as shameful as I am to admit that I bullied, I think it's important to share that because our, our basic message is, is that good people can do bad things sometimes. You know, if you're just, you lose your way sometimes and you do things that you regret and that you're not proud of, but that it's never too late to start over and change your path. And that's what we want to, we, we want to empower the bullies to make changes. We don't want to like you know, push them into the ground and make them feel like they're horrible people, we more approach it like, you know, you've made a mistake, you've lost your way, so how can you get back on track to being, you know, who you really want to be? Because it feels great when you are kind to somebody or you can make a positive difference for somebody. They'll get way more out of that than victimizing someone. That's a beautiful, positive approach towards the bullies. Yeah, I mean, good people can do bad things. Um, we all make mistakes. And I think that when people get bullied, it sometimes gets, gives them this sense of entitlement that, well, I was victimized and bullying, uh, bullied, so I'm, it's okay for me to do that to you. And it kind of keeps on going and going. So we want to try and stop that cycle. I think that's what happened for Jeanette is, uh, you know, she was victimized so much from grade one to grade eight that when she moved to a different school, she really wanted to do whatever she could to try and feel significant or to try and fit in. And so at times she became a bully to try and make herself feel better or try not to go back to that place of not being with the cool crowd. So it's, it's different for everybody. It's an epidemic. It happens at, at the workplace. It happens at home. It happens at school. So we're just trying to hopefully empower kids to, to change their thought process, to realize how important their words and actions are. And if we can inspire them through a big rock concert and hit them with a powerful message, hopefully that'll kind of stick with them and they'll think twice next time they're confronted in those situations to make a good decision. Part of the story that I share is, you know, I felt in order to be accepted, I needed to go along with what the cool thing, the cool people were doing. So I would, you know, indirectly... I would victimize other people because I was hanging out with this group that was being cruel to people and I wasn't speaking out so I was I, I, I was a part of it and it was all about peer pressure about feeling like oh well I need to be cool and I need to fit in with this group so I'm gonna go against my own heart go against my nature just to feel significant and fit in and yeah. I think peer pressure is huge and just wanting to be accepted that's a, at the end of the day that's what all kids they just want to be accepted and, and feel that they matter y'all know this song you gotta clap it's the last song you ready Please don't go away. We'll be back with more Kindness Rocks. You know, honestly, I think that if someone is bullying someone, they are probably quite troubled. I would imagine that they are going through things, either you know, low self-esteem issues, troubles at home, feeling poorly about themselves, that they're having to act you know, aggressively to others to try and feel powerful. So I do have compassion because I don't think that, you know, all bullies are really bad people. I just think, like me, when I was, you know, you're 14 years old, you're trying to fit in and you're, you do anything, you know, there's, and there's different ways that we go about trying to feel significant or trying to feel powerful. And that's a negative way. And that's what we talk about in the show, you know, and, and that we can we can change it though we can decide to do something different at any time. Yeah, and I mean one thing we do say try to well, tell everybody is it's not just about kindness to others or kindness to our environment. It's about kindness to self. Yes. You have to love yourself and you have to feel yes. full inside. So we talk a lot about kindness to self 
And even if you've made mistakes, it's okay. Right now, you have the power to change. You know, there's been so many inspirational people that have came from a really bad place or, you know, done a lot of bad things that have totally changed their life around and now inspire millions of people, right? So they have the choice to make a difference in a positive way now. So we try to let them know that they, they have that power within them to make that choice, right? And that it's never too late to apologize to somebody. If you've hurt someone, it's okay. It's like, like just it's okay to say I'm sorry. Just yeah. say you're sorry. That's it's it. Huge. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. For you to say yeah, yeah. apology. I mean, why? Why is it that uh, people hurt you and they think it's okay and they yeah. move on and they tell you to move on anyway and they yeah. still wouldn't you know that they not acknowledge what yeah. they did to you yeah. and actually on our, our second show today there was a girl that I went to school with I went to grade nine with yeah. that I was very unkind to Aww. and she came to the show and I was able to apologize to her in front of all of the kids and um, it was quite emotional actually. and it was it actually was emotional for her it was emotional for me too to be able to have that opportunity this many years wow. in the in the future to be able to say I'm sorry and it was because you know, of me feeling insecure about myself. I was just trying to feel powerful. And, and it was a really, you know, wrong way to do that. But, you know, she's forgiven me, which I, I really appreciate. And, um, you know, I've got to forgive myself and and just not, not do those behaviors, you know. And, of course, um, that's far behind me now. <laughs> so, so it's never too late. It's never, never too late to late. apologize to all those who have done something wrong to to your loved ones, to your children, or to your friends. Or to yourself. If you to yourself. yourself. Yeah. It's okay to say sorry, and I love you, and it's all right. Yeah. It makes a big difference, you know? It you does. Said, when, you, when you can apologize to someone and just take accountability for what you've done, huh. yes. and just say, I was wrong, mm -hmm. I was totally lost, and I'm so sorry, and it frees them, and it frees you. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a good thing. Sometimes in our life, we all have pain, we all have sorrow, but if we are one, no other is always to borrow. Cyberbullying is a really convenient way for people to be able to jump on and, and victimize people in an environment where they where they don't feel that they're accountable for it. Do you know what I mean? But they don't realize how, how far reaching that is to the person on the other end, right? So it's a it's an epidemic for sure. And I think the more that we can do what we're doing now to educate yes. and just talk about it and share, um, hopefully it'll be enough just to kind of spark a little something in their heart, uh, in people's hearts to want to not be that way. Um, you know Amanda Todd? Yeah. Uh, who, oh, that's who, heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. And her mom was at our second show today, yeah. and she came up and, and, you know, she spoke. And that's my, the most important thing that I can tell you today. You are all snowflakes. You deserve to be treated nice and respectfully. That if you see someone being harassed or hurt, go find someone that can help that person. And go, you know what, the bullies are people too. And they are sad, and they're doing this because something's going on in their life. So they need someone to talk to also. And so that's our job. Our job is to help and support, be kind, be respectful, and be friends with one another. Um. And it was very powerful what she she said, and and you know cyberbullying is huge. There, there's no question about it. And I agree with Jonas. Like people hide behind the screen; they don't have to, you know, actually do it in person. So it's a bit a cowardly. But she did have a lot of compassion for people that do that. You you have to be totally lost to be able to victimize people to that degree yeah. but it's also important for for the kids to know how far reaching our words and actions are and it can be a matter of life or death like it was for Amanda Todd she took her life uh, many people don't get over it many no. people do, don't survive hope for more kindness to come yeah. yes yeah. absolutely love to take it around the world would be ideal oh please do yeah, take me good. with you yeah. take the Philippines <laughs> oh, let's go. oh yeah you have to <laughs> go there go there no it's amazing being kind it's such a simple thing it's a simple method just you know be kind to another human being that's and it and have compassion. compassion rocks too compassion, compassion rocks, <laughs> rocks. 
All right, everybody. So we should start throwing. Be kind to one another. Yeah. Kindness rocks. Thank you so Thank much, you, Annette. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Jonas and Jeanette, Brock Tolly, and to the students of Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School and their principal, Mr. Jack Bailey. And to all the Kindness Rocks talents, thank you so much to the production staff. Thank you. Please don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Always be kind. Let's stop it now. Let's stop bullies. Um, bye bye. Let me see you when it's up. Get up here. Give me a picture. I want you guys to go find yourselves. I love you guys.